In this video, we will show you how to build a bot that can score all your incoming leads and send all of that information gathered from the bot to a Google Spreadsheets document. Here, you can see the final result. It's fairly simple. What you see here are some basic lead generation questions like name, email, company name, budget, etc. So while the lead is answering the questions and following the flow, there is this scoring mechanism behind it that will give a certain score depending on the answers. At the end, depending on the scoring, we will send all the information gathered from the bot of the grade leads to a specific page on a spreadsheets document, and the information from the average leads will be sent to another. Okay, to start off, we need to know what type of questions we want our bot to ask. For this example, I'll be asking for the name, the email, the company name, the number of employees, and their budget. Let's start the bot by changing a little bit the welcome message. Fairly simple. Now, let's ask for their name. It's important to set the variable at name. Each question will have its own variable. Just add a nice to meet you message with the variable add name to make your bot more human. Okay, now we will ask for their email and set the respective variable. Let's ask for their company name. Because it's a question text block, we need to create the variable add company. After the company question, let's add a button block asking for how many employers work at their company. We will give them four options. Obviously, this is just an example. You might want to set your preferred options. The first option will be it's just me. The second option for companies that are from 2 to 4 employees. The third option from 5 to 20. And the fourth for more than 20. It's important to create a variable in order to save the information. In this case, I will call it at employees. Now let's ask for their budget. Just like the last question, we will give them four options. In this case, the first one will be less than 20 the second option from 20 to 100, the third option from 100 to 500, and the last and fourth option more than 500. And just like in the employees question, we need to create a variable. In this case, it will be add budget. These are all the questions our bot will have. Okay. So now we will set all the conditions and respective scoring in the bot. First off, what we will do is add a condition block after the email. In this condition block, we will differentiate between the most basic emails that would be Gmail, Yahoo, and Hotmail, and a regular company email. It's always better if the lead uses a company email as it provides more company information. So, if the condition is true, let's follow the green path and add a set variable block where we create a numeric variable called add score. It's important that the format of this variable is a number and not a string. The score of the variable will be zero. And if the condition is false, meaning that they are using a company email, the score will be 10. The score you give to each question is always up to you depending on your case. You should always study what score fits best for your bot. Now we will set a score depending on what option they choose in the number of employees. It's always good to know how many employers work at their company as it can give you more insight on what their spending is. We won't add any score for the first option. We can do this by switching on the perform a calculation option. Here in the first field on the left, we can add our variable add score. We can write it directly like this, 
or we can select the variable from the list. Then, here in the middle, we need to choose the operation. In this case, we want to sum. And here, in the second field, we can add the value to add. For the 2 to 4 option, we will add 10. The same way, for the 5 to 20 employees, we will add 20. And for the last option, the best one, we will add 50. Same with the budget question. Four different options with four different scorings. Okay now, if we feel that we've asked everything, we need to just add a condition block. Let's say that if the score is greater than, for example, 100, we will send that information to a specific page called Awesome Leads on a Spreadsheets document. If the score is not greater than 100, that would be an average lead, that information will go to the same spreadsheets document, but to a different page. Before we set up the integration, we have to first create a Google Spreadsheets document. I have already created one for this example called Academy Lead Scoring. As you can see, the document has two different pages, one for the awesome leads and one for the average leads. In each page, there are five different columns for each variable name, email, company name, number of employers, and budget. Let's go back to the bot. Open a spreadsheets block. First, you want to give Landbot access to your Google account. I have already done it. Then, you select the document name and the page you want the information to be sent to. Then, let's select Insert a new row. Now, for each column in the sheets, assign the respective variable. So for the name column, the variable name. For the email column, the variable email, and so on. We do the same with the other Google Spreadsheets block, in this case for the average leads. It's important that we don't change the order of the columns in the document after the spreadsheets block is created in the bot. The reason is the integration won't automatically update with the changes and your data will be messed up. If you need to move the columns, then you have to go back to the builder and redo the block. At the end, we might want to add a message thanking them and letting them know that we will contact them as soon as possible. Okay, so now we have the bot. The builder part is done. Now, let's try it out and see if it works. Save the bot, go to share, share with a link, and open the bot. In this first try, we will try to be an awesome lead. That means that our email is not Gmail or Yahoo or Hotmail. So that's 10 plus points. The company name is indifferent, as it doesn't add any score. For the number of employees, we will say more than 20. So that's 50 points plus 10 from before equals 60. Spending, let's say more than 500. So that's 50 more points, so we are at 110. That's more than 100, so that makes it an awesome lead. Let's go to our spreadsheet in the awesome lead page, and as you can see, the information is saved. Now, let's refresh the bot. We will now try to be an average lead. 
So I'll type a yahoo.com email. So this score is now zero. For the number of employers, I'll choose two to four. So that adds a score of 10. For spending, I will say less than 20. That doesn't add any more points. So we finish the bot with only 10. That number is obviously not greater than 100. So it will go to the average lead page in our spreadsheets document, as you can see. And that's all. I'll see you in the next one.